up in there and the team sits in Australia car doing another run for VIPs on our Armour All Power stage. And how dramatic was that? We had Brendan Rees and Rihanna Gelsomino winning the stage by only 0.3 from Eli Evans and Glenn Westons, our former champions. The big news though was of course Scott Petter just over the rise there, had a big moment, pirouetted the car. Fortunately for him, not a lot of damage, but of course that speaks volumes as this afternoon we do our first heat of Rally Victoria. The crews have got plenty to do. Perfect chance for us to head up the hill, have a chat to them in service. Tony Sullins, you made it through there, third in the uh, Armour All Power Stage. A good run for you guys? Fantastic, yeah. yeah. We, uh, like, never done the Power Stage. Very happy to do that. I don't know how our times went, but, you know, I, I, I actually think we're doing the media stuff, and I, I, re I, I really think that I'm probably getting faster as time goes on, so good things to happen. I uh, did local rally in Canberra a couple of weeks ago, and then did a, uh, another tarmac thing up at Eastern Creek a few weeks. So I've been in the car a little bit. The boys gave the, the car a good haul over. It's feeling really strong, so looking forward to it. Steve McKenzie, you did a great job on the qualifying, but we didn't see you in the final run. No, no, unfortunately we've uh, been to shock on that uh, jump in the power stage there. Not power stage, qualifying run. Yeah. Um, so we weren't able to run the power stage, unfortunately. Uh, I reckon we would have put in a good time too. So. Eli Evans, great to have you back here, mate. Yeah, it's nice to be back. It's, uh, what was it, Canberra was the last time I competed in ARC. Yeah. So back in the tank formers type R this year, um, it's feeling pretty good. We were 0.3 off Brendan on the suit on the power stage, so pretty happy with that. The boys have just found that the car wasn't get getting 100% throttle as well, so might keep that up, <laughs> keep that one up our sleeve for the forest, I think. Yeah, don't tell anyone that, but no, no. you'd have to be pretty pleased with that. You haven't done a lot of driving this year, and I mean those guys have been on the money, particularly Scott and Brendo. So to come out and be in the mix and nearly take the power stage straight off is pretty uh, pr pretty good for you. Yeah, that's right. No, I'm happy. I know they're they're pushing pretty hard. Um, the year I've had off, I know they're always improving. I can see their stage times from last year, so. I'm here to win. Um, I might be a nuisance to the other guys, and uh, well, this makes it interesting for the championship as well. So, but I want to get a win for the Type R. So we'll see how we go. You had a big issue in testing, and these guys have been working the midnight oil to get this car right. And obviously, first run out, it's won the, it's won the power stage. Pretty good going. Yeah, it's great signs because we didn't really get the tests that we wanted Wednesday. Uh, so to have the car ready, we we lowered it a bit, got the good traction, and the Kumos worked well out there as well. So we're really happy with the balance. This afternoon's a different story, four forest stages, and it's really going to be on. Scott will be out there trying to win points, Eli, myself, some of the other guys, McKenzie's and the Citroens, it's going to be on. This afternoon's what you're focused on. How are you feeling right now? How do you think you're going to go for that first stage? I've crashed a lot, so <laughs> you uh, you get used to it, and uh, yeah, just about p p putting it uh, to the side and going, right, well, that's happened, you know, these things happen, you, you, you come within millimetres and inches, and that's the game we play, and... You know, uh, it's about getting on and, and getting on with the job this afternoon. And that's the thing to keep in mind, it probably wasn't a big mistake. You know, you only yeah. need to be, a, sometimes you'll be an inch off the line in this game and you can have a big accident. Sometimes you get away with being a foot off line. It's just one of those things, isn't it? Yeah, look, we had a little nudge of that same bank on the first run. So um, got away with it and, uh, and, didn't, and didn't get away with it the second time. So, uh, you know, I said, but the car feels really good. Um, you know, uh, I think it's come up all right after the, the damage, but uh, and we'll see, see this afternoon.